Hello guys, this is Dabson HML. In this video, let's take a look at how to create stick to the top um, navigation using layout grid. So to get started, let me come to my toolbox. I'm going to grab the layer two. So the first one is going to be the layer. I'm going to expand this. Now let me change the color of that so that you can becomes visible. So I'll go ahead, change the color, expand it to the width of the page. And I'm going to change the mode from that is default to floating. I'm going to enable relative horizontal size and i'm going to go ahead and hit on ok i'll go to the toolbox i'm going to select layout grid so i'll bring that in here i'm going to change the column from that is two columns to one column i'm going to change that is the layout here to fixed this is going to be floating the top pattern is going to be 10 pixels the bottom is going to be 10 pixels i'll go ahead and hit on ok i'll change the background color from transparent to solid and it's going to be black I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now come back to my toolbox and select the CSS animation, um, the CSS navigation. So let me just close the height of it a little bit and move this into this particular layout grid. Now let me change the layout grid um, alignment from left to center. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now let me come back to my toolbox. This time around, I'm going to bring the content placeholder. So I have my content placeholder over here. I'll double click it on it and I'm going to change the overflow from expand to floating. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. And then what I'm going to do next is going to bring another layout grid here. So in my toolbox, I look for layout grid. I break that in here. I double click in it and I change the column to one. I change the style to solid and I'm going to select black for that one as well. Now let me double click in it and set the layout to fixed. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now what I'm going to do next is bring in another layout grid. So I'm just going to copy this layout grid since it contains the navigation. I paste that in here. It's going to go to the very bottom because I'm working with layout grid. What I'm going to do is just right click on it and select move to back, which is going to come to the top. Now double click on it and I'm going to set the position to fixed. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now what I'm going to do next is to come into my toolbox. I'm going to bring the bookmark to I'll move that in here. I'm going to change the name of this particular layer. I want a situation whereby when this particular layout grid is going to be hidden, this layout grid shows. So I'm going to change the name of this to nav. Then I'm going to configure my bookmark here. So I'll double click on it, go to the event. I'll hit on add. And then the first one is going to be on scroll height. What is going to happen? That is show with effect. The target is going to be my nav. Effect is going to be slide up. The length is going to be zero. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. The next one is going to be on screw reveal, hide with effect. The target is going to be my nav. The effect is going to be slide up. Length is going to be zero. I'll go ahead and hit on OK, hit on OK. Now I'll select my nav, um, that is layout grid here. I'll come to my object manager and I'm going to hide that. So on doing that, I'll come back to my index page. I'll hit on the toolbox, populate it with some test. I'll double click in it and populate it with about, that is uh, 10 paragraphs. Let me just add another 10 more to have 20 paragraphs. Now right click on an empty space, go to page properties and make sure I have it. I have my master page selected over here. So you just hit on select and select your master page. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. Now let's preview this page and see how it's going to look like. So we have our page previewed here. Now you should go to the top and as you can see, we have our navigation showing from the top. So that is how to create stick to top navigation using a layout script. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.